You just said something stupid. And every one in the room looks at you. Every single person's eyes turns and stares at you. The anxiety, the embarrassment, the fear. And not only do you feel all of this, it's gone quiet, it's gone silent, and you have no idea what to do next. How to overcome this fear, this moment. Three years down the line, you're in the shower, you're in your own little world, and you think back. You think back to that moment. That embarrassing, awkward moment. And you look back to your past self with shame. That single moment in your life haunts you to this day now. Whenever you're in a new social environment. To the point where you have to ask yourself, am I a socially anxious person? Hey, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been alright. Yeah, that story I just told you was a very real reality to me. That was basically my story. And I have a feeling that it's something that a lot of you can relate to as well. I dealt with this fear of those embarrassing moments, you know, in social environments, social anxiety, for years. I dealt with it for a very long time, you know, to the point where I made that one friendship group and just stuck with that friendship group only. You know, anytime I was introduced to new people, I got nervous, anxious, and just basically didn't talk. And it was because of moments like those that haunted my mind. So how on earth can you deal with these embarrassing moments? And I can reveal to you the secrets of what I've learned from being on my journey, from my experiences over the past two years. You see, I've noticed that there are three things you can do when you are dealing with those socially embarrassing, awkward moments that make you incredibly socially anxious. And those three things are ignore, explain, or excuse. And by understanding these three, you can actually make it so where you don't become awkward. Not where you do have those embarrassing moments, because everyone will have those at some point. But how you have the confidence to deal with it and get over it and everyone forgets about it. Now the first option is ignore it. You just ignore what just happened and you hope that everyone around you ignores it as well and forgets about it. Yeah, sorry to break it to you, but that's usually not the case. This is what we mostly do, but people don't usually forget. And that is a big fear. <laughs> people just remembering like, oh, dude, does that guy remember that stupid thing I did? Probably. Yeah, probably. It sucks. The second option you can choose to do is explain, where you attempt to explain yourself. Why you did the actions that you did, the how your mind processing works, why you went and did whatever it is that you did. That was embarrassing. You tried to explain your reasons and that just makes things uncomfortable. You know, you're trying too hard to explain something and it gets very uncomfortable. People will forget about the embarrassing moment, but that's just because you made it really uncomfortable to deal with. So that clearly isn't the great option. And then the last option, excuse. Excuse yourself with a relaxed statement. Excusing off what you just did with a relaxed statement, uh, with a relaxed sort of body language, almost as if you're laughing off what just happened, that awkward silence, that awkward moment that you did. This leaves uh, the other person or the other group of people without any sort of negative feelings, which negative feelings tend to be remembered longer. And because all the feelings are cleared, people will forget. Take yourself a little less serious when you're around people. And that is the key. Understanding that, okay, yeah, when I have these awkward, embarrassing moments, you know, I have three options. I can either ignore it, which isn't great, as we've discussed, explain it, but then it kind of makes things uncomfortable, or you can excuse it within a relaxed statement, as if you're laughing it off your shoulders, and that way people will laugh with you. And it becomes, rather than a negative feeling, almost a playful, joyful experience. You know, for example, I made a joke and no one laughed, right? Everyone just looks at me. That's hella embarrassing. It's hella awkward. I don't usually talk a lot in groups. So when I do make a joke, when that happens, it's terrifying. 
But then, you know, I just say afterward, well, that was awkward, with a laugh, like a chuckle in my voice, and other people will laugh at that. Then it's done, then it's forgotten. But then, that's the problem. That is easier said than done. I've just explained to you the basis of how to deal with those embarrassing moments, how to deal with the social anxiety in those very, very stressful situations, but it's easier said than done. Being able to excuse it or laugh it off with a relaxed statement, that is harder than it seems, especially for someone who dealt with social anxiety for a long time. Now, here's the key. I used to think that those awkward silence, embarrassing moments where I say something stupid or do something stupid, when I'm finally comfortable to do something that's out of my comfort zone and then it comes back at me, I used to think that those moments were bad. That if that happens, that that's a bad thing. But then I understood it's normal. And there's a 90% chance that the other person in that group, that the other people in that group of yours, feel the exact same the way. They are worried of that awkward science as well. Understanding that that's normal allows you to have the confidence to step out your comfort zone. Hey, it's all right. You are going to have embarrassing moments. You are going to have moments where your social anxiety does spike up, but that's normal. You can't become the perfect person overnight. You're going to have embarrassing moments. It's just understanding that that is normal and that allows you to build up the confidence to deal with those moments. Remembering that you shouldn't ignore it because, well, people don't forget that you shouldn't explain it because that will make people uncomfortable that you should just laugh it off with an excuse. Just excuse it with a relaxed statement. Take yourself less seriously when you're with other people. It allows people to become way more comfortable around you as well. And not only that, it allows you to become comfortable when you're relaxed. Hopefully this helped you out. And I hope things have been good. I hope things have been alright. And I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here. Because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. <laughs> Voila. Come here, give me a something from kiss. Mwah.